All right, Mr. Bill. Remember these roses? I do. <laughs> I do. They so look good. They look good. Uh, so you did a good job. Thank so you. So let's talk a little bit about fall rose care. Fall rose care. Okay. Well, I'm going to tidy this bush up a little bit. Okay. Um, this is an iceberg floor abundant. It's really done well. Yes. Um, small blooms, a lot of blooms. Uh, you want a deadhead. Uh, you don't cut floor abundance back as much as you do, say, a hybrid tea. Um, and I noticed that there's some leaf cutters. See where the yeah, leaves are? Cool. Um, yeah. you, you get these little perfectly round holes, and it's just a leaf cutter, which is a beneficial. So you don't want to kill them. You just, just bear with them, and they actually line their nest mm -hmm. with, with this tender leaf foliage. So they don't do any damage. But other than that, the, the bush is, is, is in pretty good shape. I actually shape. think that's pretty neat, it's precision cutting. You know, oh, it is. They can make just bees. a perfectly round hole. Right. They're mother, you gotta love mother nature. Now, deadheading wise, the, the petals are gone. So on, uh, versus a hybrid tea, I'm gonna come right about here and you prune high mm -hmm. and you take that off because you don't want it to set rose hips. Um, I found a rose hip down, that's pretty small. Where did I see? Oh, that's another one. Oh, here, yeah, here, one here's a, I'll pull that off. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a rose hip. Um, that sets and makes seeds, and you want to cut those off early fall. Now, in November, you leave them, and the plant will go dormant. But if you leave them now, um, the plant thinks it's propagated and it just, it dies down. So that's why you deadhead and that's very important. Okay. Um, and so you just, you go down to a five leaf, you cut it off. Um, these are pretty much spent. I'll just go down to a five leaf and cut that off. Is it always five leaves? Typically a five leaf is gonna have a better chance to rebloom. Okay. Gotcha. Down here, you've got very, you got one bloom and a lot of foliage. You want the plant to get air. Uh, this, so this is not productive. <laughs> I'm gonna come down here, go to a five leaf, and take this large, and where you have this multi canes, you're gonna get a big bloom of flowers. Uh, and just to tidy up the bush, I'm gonna take this out. It looks better, it gets rid of, you only had one bloom on there. And so that'll actually do better and you'll get a nice bloom instead of um, just one or two. Okay. Um, so we're trying to get as many blooms as possible, right? Yeah, and that's the, the whole, we're kind of manipulating mother nature okay. and, and getting it to bloom. Right. And in the meantime, we're wanting to kind of shape the plant. Now here, you had one bloom. Um, I'm gonna come down, cut it on the back side so that the next cane will go the same way the leaves are facing. Okay. All right, gotcha. Um, but it's pretty good, um, and you don't have to do a whole lot. Um, here's one that's bloomed. I'm gonna leave the ones that's on here. Um, there you go. Well, that, there you go. And if you make a mistake cutting, <laughs> no big deal, no big they'll deal. grow back. That's just, <laughs> and now you'll get many more blooms like this, and that's kind of what you're shooting on. You want, you want a flush of blooms. This is a very pretty, it's pretty all year long. Now here's a cane that's coming up and blooms. This is going in the middle. So see how it kind of opens the- I sure did, um, opened it up quite a bit. You know, the old rule of thumb is to be able to put a bowl in the middle right. of the bush. But see, I've taken a lot of that out. That's gonna let air bleed. And that, that air flow is gonna knock down on the, the fungus. Right. So it doesn't okay. have a place to hide. Okay, get those leaves dried off. But the bush yeah. looks really good. Um, but on the floor bunda, you prune lightly instead of versus a hybrid tea, you go down a foot or better. Okay. Next, I'm gonna put a little triple 13 fertilizer right. kind of around the outside of the bush. Um, roses are heavy feeders. So we're saying, so obviously it's not too late to do this then, right? No, it used to be into September. Okay. But our growing season's a little longer now. We'll have blooms for in Christmas a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So after probably the end of November, no more nitrogen. No more nitrogen, gotcha. Um, but this will perk them up, you'll get nice, but that's a really, this bush has really done well. 
Good. Um, okay. We've got a hybrid then, always throw this away. You don't want to leave it on the <laughs> ground. Yeah, practice good sanitation, right? Um, now here, this has got some leaf burn from the heat and it's got some black spot, which you use a fungicide, which is a preventative. Um, the first thing is always to cut some of the dead stuff out. Um, I'm on a, I'm gonna take this out, and it's not doing very well. But what color is that pith in the middle of the cane? That's white. Yeah. Well, the creamy. No, the middle is. Oh, it's just yeah, dark. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm looking around it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you got a little bit of live tissue, right. so this is not doing very well okay. because that cane's kind of dying. Right. And a lot of times you just have to keep cutting back to white pith. Um, here you have unproduction. There's no bloom shooting up. You want to kind of thin this bush out a little bit to let back to the airflow, which is very important. Um, see what we got here. I'm going to take this one out. And you'll make a mistake every once in a while. You'll cut the wrong cane, and you know what? It's like a bad haircut. It'll grow back. <laughs> It'll grow back. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to, you have to move on. Um, now, I noticed on the last cutting, ah. um, went here. Well, pruned here, the next cane in 40 days on a hybrid T, 40, 45 days, the next cane's gonna grow this way. Typically, you want it to grow out. So, and you can see there's a little ah, node yeah, right here. It's going that way. That's, that's why, and you always wanna cut, and they did this properly, you always wanna cut about a quarter of an inch right above that leaf, that leaf node. I want, I want it to go this way, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna come down. Oh, what's that? Can you get it? That one's a tough. There you go. See how white that was yeah, versus, nice. versus yeah, dark this one, pit. which is yeah. black in the middle. Mm -hmm. So this is just run out of, uh, just run out of energy and there's no life going to it. Okay. Uh, so now this next cane is gonna grow same way the leaf is. This is a little thick. Um, and here again, you're just opening up the bush a little bit, um, and then you won't have to use as much fungicide. Okay. Um, so what do you think about the overall growth of this one, though? Well, it's coming along, it's coming along. well. Okay. Now, mulch would help tremendously, uh, fertilizer. I noticed that you can see at the bottom that's rocking a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would add a little more soil around that and then tap it in, well, right there. And that's why we wind top in the fall. Uh, November, pro what, probably closer to December, January after the blooms. Okay. You take a bush that's this tall and you bring it down because on a windy day, it's doing this. Like rock. And it's, when it rocks, mm. it tears the, um, those young white feeder roots. So you're just losing mm. nutrition. Uh, this is not doing much. Um, I'm gonna cut this off. Yeah. Take a little bit out of the middle. Um, this is very small. So when you take this away, you're gonna get more energy going to the bigger cane. And what you want is it to grow up and be like this. Gotcha. You got new growth here. Mm -hmm. That's good. There's a little bit of dead, and we'll take that out. But there's new growth, and that's what you're looking for. Right. Yeah, that looks good. And it'll take this big cane here. It'll take about, like I say, 40, 45 days um, to get a, a new cane similar to this, a bud, and then a bloom. Uh, any dead wood, which you can see that that's dying out. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Get dead. rid of that. Um, Here's a little small one. <laughs> um, and you see, um, you see brown. Yeah, I see it is. So yeah. I'll just go down a little bit below that and there's a little bit of brown yeah. in there. Yeah. But bit. then you'll get a new cane. Um, then again, I'll add a little, little triple 13 around the drip, around the drip line. Clean your mess up. <laughs> uh, you don't want to leave those leaves 
on the ground because then then they really get black spot yeah. and they'll spread it the rain hits and it bounces up mm -hmm. but other than that the bush is coming along for a young bush and what you want is these big healthy canes here um, that's going to produce and you'll have a lot better growth the next season all right mr bill we appreciate that uh fall rose care demonstration looks like you've done this a couple of times before so thank you much sir <laughs> thank you Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.